hello good morning viewers and subscribers this is your girl lady hannah well you haven't heard anything from me for a while because i was having camera problems but now i have sorted that out so i am back in the kitchen so how is your day going it's a new year it's the first of january and it's my birthday and I am just making a quick stop in the kitchen to make a little cake. Alright, so today I'm going to make a sorrel cake. A vegan sorrel cake. So I'm going to put this together. Okay, so come on with me over in the kitchen and let us put this one together. But first, let me show you my ingredients. Here I have my flour. In my flour, I have, this are all my dry ingredients, by the way. I have my um, flaxseed that I'm used um, in place of eggs. My flour here, two teaspoon baking powder, my little cinnamon, and a little um, spice right here. Okay, and then my wet ingredients, my fruits. I blend my fruits out in some um grape juice okay and i have a half a cup of coconut oil my vanilla right here my um almond extract here and my um my i have some red food color in here because i want it to have a red color so i'm gonna use my food coloring over here okay and then that's my sugar over there and there is my sorrel pulp okay so that's my ingredients i'm gonna put all these together okay okay guys welcome back so now we're gonna put this sorrel cake together okay so first i'm gonna pour this is a half a cup of coconut oil so I'm gonna pour this in and I'm gonna put all my dry my wet ingredients together sorry okay I am gonna put the sugar here I have a cup of sugar because I don't want it to be too sweet I'm using um brown sugar okay so I'm gonna mix my sugar out in this all right now some left lick lift some little bit leave in there getting everything out so i'm gonna dissolve my sugar out in the coconut oil all right i want it to dissolve out as best as i can because i use in my hand all right you remember first time we, when we're making regular cake we all use your cream the butter and the sugar well i am creaming my my sugar with my coconut oil all right so i'm gonna add all the wet ingredients to this then i am going to um pour my almond extract let me use a measuring spoon over here yeah, people a long time in do no video you know, because the camera thing was giving me problem so okay i'm gonna pour okay one teaspoon of almond extract and i'm gonna pour my vanilla i back to strongly back to manage my man all right i'm gonna put three of this may i put in there one two three let's put over there mix this out some more And I'm gonna add a little um, 
flavored extract here, a little add a little of this to it. I put one teaspoon of this. Alright. Because I want this taste good. I'm making this for my birthday. Today is my birthday and I am making this for my birthday. Alright. Making myself a little sorry cake for my birthday. And then now I am going to um mix these together and then i'm going oh in fact i'm gonna mix this out some more and then i'm gonna add this my sorrel puree right here so i'm gonna add some of this to it all right i'm gonna use about a cup for now Alright, this is my puree right here. I'm pouring a cup of that in it. And I'm gonna mix this out. Okay, and I'm gonna set this aside. Set this aside for now. And I'm gonna mix all of my dry ingredients together. Mix up everything. All the dry ingredients. I'm mixing them together. And after I mix them together, then I'm going to combine everything. All right? Just mixing this together. This smells so nice with all the spices. Yeah, man. Okay. All right. This is done. So, come back to this trying to get all the sugar dissolved out and I'm gonna pour in this my mixed fruit I put plenty in there some of them is a little bit chunky if you can see because I like when I bite it in my cake I feel I bite on a little chunk so you can blend it out if you want to but I don't want mine to be blended out fully so I have little bits of chunks in it so I'm gonna scrape this in this just scrape everything in there one time all right don't have to do it little little because i am making this to my liking all right stir this up some more okay i stir stir this up some more and i'm gonna add some more puree to this okay all right guys so once i mix this out no mix up everybody together look at the color very red all right so now i'm gonna combine everything together okay I'm going to combine the wet and the dry together. So I'm going to pour a little at a time. Little at a time. All right. Pour it a little at a time. And I'm going to mix. Okay. They say cut and fold. Cut and fold. Okay. I'm going to mix this right out. Pour a little more. A little at a time, guys. All right? A little at a time. Okay? A little at a time. So I'm going to continue to do this off camera. And then I'll come back to you and show you when everything is all mixed right out. Okay? Okay, guys. Welcome back. Now everything is all mix out properly okay you can see the texture right here see a very nice texture and it has that red color of the sorrel but i want it to be a little bit more redder so i'm gonna add just a little food coloring just a little red coloring just a little not much just a little 
to get that bright okay to get that bright red okay so i'm just gonna mix this out some more and i have my um my oven already pre-eating at 350 all right guys so the next time you see me i will be pouring my vegan sorrel cake into my baking pan and i have my baking pan here it's already greased i have greased it with coconut oil okay it's a nine inch pan so i'm gonna pour it in in a short while and i want to say a big shout out to my fans who have been asking um messaging me and saying what happened i haven't seen anything any video for a while I am back guys hi mr. Griffiths and a few more of my friends I don't want to start calling names because I don't want to get into trouble so guess what guys this is my vegan sorrel cake okay even though Christmas is gone I don't really celebrate Christmas so I'm doing this for my birthday so I hope you guys have a wonderful new year and may God bless you. And the next time you see me, I will be taking this beautiful sorrel cake from the oven. See you later and enjoy your day, okay? Thanks, guys, for watching. Here we go. You know me now left nothing in it, you know. Me I scrape out everything. See that nice pretty red color? Yeah man. My vegan cake. And guys, if you do not want to make your cake vegan, you can use your butter and your eggs. Okay? But this is my way okay yes man dear you have it so i'm gonna just pop this in the oven the next time you see me come out the oven you see it yes guys we have to give god thanks we live to see another new year despite all the going in a 2020 God has spared us to see another new year. It is indeed a pleasure and we are so blessed, you know, to see another new year. So I just want you all guys to just give thanks and have a safe and wonderful day. I'm going to pop this in the oven and I'm going to just relax because what? It's my birthday. See, the oven is ready. So I'm going to just pop this baby in the oven. Yeah, man, I'm going to just rock him a little bit and just pop him in the oven. So, see you when this come out, okay? Okay, there you have it, my vegan sorrel cake. Yes, people, I'm going to let him cool and then I'm going to cut him, okay? So, there you have it.